What's wrong with the night, folks? I hate doing these these videos in these glasses. They look straight when I'm looking, but when I look looking at that, they're like that. They're like I'm bladdered, and I'm not. That's it. It's the broken nose doesn't help. They look straight to me when I play it back. They look horrendous. Maybe it's because I don't know. Anyway, right. Scores on the doors. I don't know. I'm just scores on the doors when none of my favourite tipsters have won. But I'm doing a quick scores on the doors because there's a couple of new people entered the arena. Well, some of them aren't too new. But I've got a couple of comments to make, especially on the back of many things Keith has said today and a couple of others. Right, scores on the doors. Let's look at six or seven tipsters. We'll give a few comments on each. Flat cap. A uh, couple of nice prices there, but overall didn't do too great. I don't think you've lost Everly, but I think you may have lost a few with flat cap. Not too bad. Peter Falingham, no joy today. Now, I'm told a few people are having a bit of a pop at Peter because he's just hit a poor run and he's lost a bit of the bank that he built up. Um, and I, I, I said, well, I can't why they would have a go. At the end of the day, he's being honest, he's been up front. He's not asking for anything of anybody. He's not asking for any money. He's giving free tips and he's telling you why he's doing them and what he's doing. And when you put anything in his comment section, he answers it truthfully. Don't think there's an issue. He got well in front over about 14 successful days. Lost a bit of it in the last three or four. Don't think he's helped himself because over two of those days, he picked, I think it was 11 bets. Many of them went down and it... it it busted his bank a little bit. I did say that a couple of days ago, but that was only, not half in jest, but that's just saying that I wouldn't have put so many up, being as I built a big bank up, because if many of them lost, being as I was doing at 40, 40 quid per per point, it really sort of buggers the bank up a little bit. There's still a good few quid there, still a good few quid in front, but it'd look better were he doing one or two a day. Anyway, to that end, he's still in front, and I don't know why people should have a go. I don't think he's doing anything wrong there at all. Um... Mickey, I see Mickey had a couple of winners today. Um, I think you're probably just in front, breaking even or just in front, not much in it. I did have done the ones that he'd recommended. A couple of them that won, I think, especially one of them, was it Gaelic Warrior? I think he had an eight anti post. So had you had done it early on, you've won a good few quid more than it actually SP'd at. Um, but nothing over special, but nothing bad. No great loss. Then we'll go to a couple of others. Now, one that made a new uh, appearance today in my, my screen on my YouTube thing, I think he said he's been back in March. I didn't know he'd been back. It's the first time I've seen him for a while. It was Connor 500. He's calling himself different things. I think he's calling himself a sports analyst now. I don't want to have a go at Connor for obvious reasons, but that said, his tips today, I think, went pretty poorly. I don't think you've done well with Connor's tips today. Who will we go with next? Who will we go with next? Old Neil, Neil Maurice. I think he gave one. His big bet, his big free bet in the sixth race. I think it come sixth. Uh, but it only SP'd at 7-2, to two. he might give it a bit better, but you're not really winning much there. We don't know what Neil's doing with the tips he's giving to others. He's going to tell us tomorrow, we'll assume it's the truth, but we're not going to be so sure of what the SPs are going to be, what he's going to uh, put in his profit and loss uh, compared to what they actually finish up as. Um, but we don't know what he's done, so that's one we don't know about. Give you a couple more. We know about a fellow called Sandro, he hasn't come back. I was certain he would have been back before... Uh, Day one, I was certain. I've got a couple of people that bet with him, and somebody told me today, if you was with Sandro today, you've done your brains in. This is the guy that's the best out there. You've done your conkers in. Now, don't know if that's true, but I'm told it is the case. But you never know. The next three days might prove different. I do not know. I believe he gave a couple of winners today. I think one of them was State Man. They, uh, he advised at one to three. I think one was Lossy Mouth at about one to two. I think they both finished up a little bit better than that, but he never advised much else from what I can gather. I think that's what somebody told me. Um, who else should we go to? Uh, we'll save him till last. Yeah, I noticed that, uh, what's his maiden appearance again, isn't it? Holden's Horses, the Sheriff of Tippingham. Yeah, I think we're going to be having words with him, him and his website in the next week or two. I think he's one of the Neil Marie stable, and he does it the same as all the rest. Loads and loads and loads of free bets, but when you get down to the nitty gritty, he's charging. And again, no profit and loss. Right, two mentions before we finish. I'll leave the very best till last. You might know who it is. You might not, but somebody give me tip me the wink, which I was pleased about. Yeah, the chap, uh, what's his name, was it? Lawton, was it Neil Lawton? Something Lawton, I mentioned him the other day. I seen a thing he did uh, with uh, the, the star bets thing, the betting people. Thought it was really good, thought it was insightful. I thought it was a bit more honest than some I've seen on there. He actually mentioned what he bets per day, which I thought was good. Told me he can have, told us he can have some difficulties getting on, and said he has a middleman that places bets that might not be uh, with the the people that we see on the old uh, internet there. Um, so he was more honest than most. 
Um, a couple of people since then have told me he wasn't too great and he wasn't quite as honest. Uh, and I just clicked, put his name into something and something came up and there was a couple of comments from Bet there at Old Threads where they said he was trying to take people's money and selling them dud animals and then uh, promising them this, that and the other and not giving them the money back after letting them down and lots of things on there. Don't know if they were true or not, they were from a few years ago. But on the back of that, um, I've seen in one of his videos and he says that I'm just giving horses, I'm only doing it to help, blah, 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 blah. These are the horses, I'm not giving prices, but you can you can look for the prices yourself. I'm not tipping them as such, but I'm telling you these are the horses that I fancy. But then he says on the back of that, but if anybody wants to email me, I can get you them before quarter to nine, well, at which time you will get best prices. And I'm thinking, well, why would you do that? And ask people to email, why didn't it just tell them these are the horses and you've got them before quarter to nine? Um, I'm thinking, you know, you, you, you tend to smell a bit of a, it, well, it does smell right. Anyway, somebody told me, says, yes, 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 you can email him. Yeah, he'll give you before quarter to nine, but that's when he charges. Now, it's weird because in the thing that he was doing with old Simon not there on the Betting People series, he was saying he concentrates on two two and three-year-olds. I think he said two and three-year-old horses. He doesn't like doing horses that haven't had a run. He's very rare, just one of those. But he likes to do two-year-olds, he likes to do three-year-olds. I think he said at four, he rarely bets horses, and above four, he definitely doesn't. He said oh, most of what he does is on the flat, does very, very little on the jumps. And I'm thinking, well, why is he on there daily now on the old YouTube, or YouTube as some of us say, when he's giving us his all manner of things, you know, flat, jumps, all ages, when he said he doesn't specialise in it and it's not really his field. And I'm thinking again, is it because he's trying to make a few quid? And obviously it is. Um, I'm told a lot of his horses are badly priced and I'm told they're performing really, really poorly. Now, when he tells us he, he's a professional gambler, he's made a lot of money, and he lives in a one million pound house, mainly on the back of gambling, I'm thinking, why has he got to sell bets? And if he's selling bets, why is he not telling us he's doing it, being up front? Sounds strange. And then, talking of not being up front, we're back to him, aren't we? Watchman, Watchman Racing, he's back. Someone said he's back today, I couldn't believe it. Done a 40 second video, yeah, can you not? 40 seconds, loads of free bets, loads of free tips, millions of them. Sign up, subscribe, come on, come on, have a look. Everything's free, I'm not after any of your money. He mentions no horses this time, mentions nothing else, 40 seconds and he's gone. He's been away for a few weeks now because he's had a family tragedy or said he did have, but promised when he came back on YouTube, uh, well, it, it, this for it went off YouTube, he said from February the 1st, we're going to offer horses, but we're going to do a full profit and loss on the horses that I offer on here and the horses that I give to my private clients and those that give me money. He's not done any of it, didn't do any of it today. Doesn't want to know what he's giving because he'd have to give a profit and loss. That man, I mean, what will I say? I'm not so sure he is a snake or says, but I've got him down as someone like your, your Jap sniper. He just comes at you from you don't know where. He's been gone for weeks and weeks and weeks. Just appears, 40 seconds and gone. He's just trying to kill it, and that's all he's trying to do. You can't trust him. I don't feel you can trust him. He's, I think he could be the champion of the snake or salesman. That said, I think in that piece of seven or eight uh, tipsters, I think we've mentioned three or four in there. And we're going to be keeping an eye on three or four after Cheltenham's finished. Can't do it yet, folks. Got too much on my plate. But we need to try to get these people to fall in line with what? Flat Cap Callum, Peter Fillingham and Mickey D do. We do need it because that gives people an even playing field. And we want these new people that are coming on YouTube that don't know anything about anything. We want to direct them to the right people. Or if they go into what we believe to be the wrong people, those that charge, at least they're going in there with their eyes open. God, I didn't even have a chance. I've seen the Watchman video when someone told me about it. Didn't even have a chance to open it. As soon as you open my eyes, I close them and it gone. Boop, boop, boop. I say, like a Jap sniper, the king of snake oil, without a shadow of a doubt.